welcome to the show. It's live, it's interactive, and as you can see, Team Razor are warming up to give you a display you're not going to want to miss. They Don't go anywhere. So cool, aren't they? Right, hands up who's been to the cinema lately. If you've been, you will know that the amazing Spider-Man movie has just been released. That's not it, my opinion, it's called that, isn't it? That is its actual title. It follows the story of Peter Parker, who was bitten by a radioactive spider, and that's how he got his superpowers. Actually, it's true, because these superpowers exist in real life. Yes, we are about to introduce you to three big, furry, scary spiders. You might want to hide behind your cushions now, but here. there's <laughs> no need to worry, because we have an expert handler with us. It is Crocodile Joe. Now, Crocodile Joe, your nickname Hello. has a crocodile in the title, but you know about spiders too, don't you? I certainly do. I certainly do. I'd spent, I spent a lot of years in Australia researching and studying tarantulas of the Australian rainforest. So you are well positioned to handle the ladies we have in these boxes. I certainly am. I certainly OK, am. who are you going to introduce us to first? This is a chili rose tarantula. It's wow. actually called Tilly. This is Tilly. Tilly. We mentioned there that um, spiders have superpowers a bit like Spider-Man. How is Tilly similar to the superhero? Well, she's very similar to Spider-Man because this girl actually spins silk just like Spider-Man. Now, this one doesn't actually spin a web like Spider-Man. He actually spins silk to catch his prey. OK. Now, this one, this one will actually eat all kinds of little insects to, to little mice, all kinds of little animals. It must Beautiful. be a strong web to catch those sort of animals. It's actually, it's actually stronger than steel. What? It's actually stronger than steel. If you, if you can get a, a piece of steel as, as wide as a web, then the steel would break before the web. Is she poisonous? She's mildly venomous. She's mildly venomous, but it's almost like a bee sting. It's almost like a bee sting. But she does have two centimetre long fangs, which, which she'll pump oh! into a prey. Absolutely. <laughs> My heart is beating so fast. <laughs> You've done really, really well. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you, Tilly. <laughs> OK, so moving on to the next one. So we're talking about superpowers, things that are related to the superhero. How about our second well, tarantula in here? Well, this one. Have a look at him. He's a red knee tarantula. Oh, red knee. So red being red. the same colour as the costume of Spider-Man, I think. Absolutely. Okay. And red's for danger. Oh. As we know, red's for danger. Look at him. He's no. cool. How He's does, absolutely how does, cool. How you does can't he really, You can't really hold this one because this one actually flicks its hairs and as it's flicking its hairs those, those hairs are going to the back of your throat into your eyes and on your skin make them really really itchy makes you really itchy and and the fascination with tarantulas is, is they can hang upside down and they can they can hold 170 times their own body weight that's an equivalent of spider-man holding 170 people while hanging off a building with one arm. That's so incredible. when you see Spider-Man has super strength, that is because spiders do have super, super strength. Super strength, absolutely. Spider-Man doesn't flick hairs from his bottom, though, does he? <laughs> Not in this movie. Not in this one. There's bound have to be a, a sequel, at... right? Do you want to put him back and let's meet the next guy because that's a big one. Now, is it worth just leaving this guy in the cage because he's a monster, isn't he? Well, this one is a Goliath bird-eating tarantula, and this is. The, out the three of the tarantulas that I brought today, this is the most aggressive. And that's why I'm going to leave him in the vivarium. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're fine with that. You keep him exactly where I he don't is, dude. That's... Him. I can't get the lid back on the box, so just. I'm going to get you my first jigsaw for your birthday. He actually has super senses, just like Spider Man, because this animal can actually sense a threat. And if he senses a threat, then he'll rub his hairs and it makes a hissing noise. So he has spider senses like the superhero himself as well. So, but um, this hissing noise you're talking about, he won't do it now because there's no danger here. He's quite content. But we have got a recording of what this spider sounds like when he feels threatened. Have a listen. It's more like a leak, really, isn't it? Sounds like a snake. Well, exactly, like a rattlesnake. Exactly. When, a, when a rattlesnake is scared, they, they shake their tail to let you know, don't they? To let you know danger. Just to let you know danger. This is the largest tarantula in the world. They can actually grow 12 inches like a dinner plate just like a dinner plate and its fangs are the same length as a cheetah's claws what one a inch cheetah's long. claws a cheetah's claws you don't think that's possible from something so small do you wow well there you have it it's definitely true isn't it you think about superman the hero he's got the strongest web in the world he can climb walls and uh, and, and he's, he's as scary as i, I don't like that at all. no it it's reminding me of a frog a little bit and i don't know why i'm not nervous but i'm a little thing. bit itchy joe thank you so thank you, much joe. for coming in and introducing us to these fabulous creatures